Hi, this is Tatiana of Tatiana's Math Resources. We're going to look at higher purchase. Let's talk about the formula for the higher purchase. So just trying to make it look a little different. Higher purchase is equals to the deposit. So you first have to make a deposit, a down payment, plus total monthly payments and this will be for a period of time so every month you will make a payment a small payment of course we have to remember that a higher purchase is always more than the original price of the item so let's go over this again higher purchase is equals to the deposit or down payment plus total monthly payments let's look in a a refrigerator can be bought for cash at $3,600 with a 20% discount or on higher purchase by paying down $400 and the 24 monthly installments of $150. Calculate A, the cash price, B, the higher purchase. So the discount first, we would have to find 20% of $3,600. So notice I have my percentage as a fraction. 20 over 100. Multiplying that by $3,600, I'm going to get $720. But it's a discount. So do we have to add or subtract? It's a discount. So we have to subtract. She's going to pay less because she paid cash. So we're going to take $720 on $3,600. So this same customer will pay $2,880. Higher purchase. First, pay down $400 and 24 monthly installments of $150. Let's go part B. So the deposit, $400. Plus, for every month, for 24 months, this customer has to pay $150. So we're going to multiply 24 by $150. 400 still, plus. 24 times 150 is $3,600, giving us a total of $4,000. So remember we said the higher purchase is always more than the original cost of the item. So because she paid the higher purchase, she's going to pay $4,000. Okay. A dining set can be purchased cash for $7,200 or on higher purchase for a deposit of $500 and 36 monthly payments of $200. Calculate A, the higher purchase price, B, the interest charge, C, the percentage interest charge. So the higher purchase first, A. Again, we have our formula deposit plus total monthly payments. So in this question, her deposit or his deposit is $500 plus $200 for 36 months. We still have the 500, but now we have to work out what is 36 times 200. We're going to get $7,200. So we're going to add that $7,200 to the deposit $500 and we're going to get $7,700, $7,700. Again, you can check to see if you're correct. The higher purchase is more, is greater than the price for the item, $7,200. The interest charge. All that is, is that they want to know what, how much more you paid. So we're going to take $7,200, the original price, from the higher purchase price, $7,200. Or we're gonna get $500. So this customer paid $500 more because they bought the item on higher purchase. What is the percentage interest charge? We take the difference or the interest charge, $500, and we put that over the original cost of the dining set, $7,200. We want the percentage, so we have to multiply it by 100. When we do that, we're going to get 6.9%. So the percentage interest charge is 6.9%. I'm Tatiana from Tatiana's Math Resources. Stay tuned for more.